we and the Russians, with the nuclear armaments going up in a continuing way, and deteriorating relationship between us, poor communications seemingly getting worse, negative progress on arms control, hostility between the two countries flaring up, increasing, seemingly almost deliberately being fed. We're like two animals caught in a net, struggling for a preferred place, and with each struggle drawing the net tighter around us. A large part of the problem is confusing nuclear weapons with security or military capability. This is, of course, a mistake. I saw Hiroshima six days after it was hit. I've participated in atmospheric bomb tests. For several years, I was responsible for nuclear target planning. I've headed a large intelligence agency, and I have been as Commander-in-Chief in the Pacific, one of the so-called executing or responsible commanders. I looked around when I was asked how many nuclears I needed and discovered that I needed none because there was no conceivable, sensible way to use them. We and the USSR do not seem to understand what security is. We each seem to suffer from the fallacy of the last move that somehow or other, if we just ratchet it up one more ratchet, we can get a permanent advantage over the adversary. And in spite of the fact that time after time after time after time, this attempt to get a technological edge has failed and has boomeranged, we still seem to be hell-bent to try to do it again. We are all in the same lifeboat. We cannot survive by drilling a hole in the other guy's end of the lifeboat. If there is a leak in the other end of the lifeboat, we had better plug it. There is no national security that's effective for the United States that comes at the expense of someone else's national security. There is left only a common human security and global security, and that's what's threatened by nuclear weapons. We do still seem to be able, as human beings and people, to recognize the common humanity of infants and children. We do recognize that an infant of any nation, of any political persuasion and background nationally, simply represents the potential in the future of our species and that we have a common responsibility to protect and enhance that.